Hi, my name is Liz and the name of this channel is Nothing But Bags. I call my channel Nothing But Bags because as far as I'm concerned, when I'm getting dressed, my outfit is an accessory and my handbag is the main event. If this is your first time clicking on one of the videos on my channel, thank you so much for clicking this video. There is a lot of content uploaded on YouTube every day with regard to fashion, luxury, handbags, and the fact that you clicked on my little video is sincerely appreciated. If you're a returning friend to my channel, someone that already stops by here and subscribed, chats with me in the comments section and supports my channel, you already know. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Um, if you're a regular around here, I'm in a very different kind of vibe. I usually am not standing up in my videos, but as you saw from the thumbnail and the title of this video, this is gonna be my handbag collection housekeeping things. First of all, I'm not going to go into all of the bags in detail. I have almost 50 handbags. We will be here all day. I'll just be hitting on them, making some brief points, possibly trying it on so you can see how it fits on my frame. I'm 5'7", five, 5'8", five, for reference. I weigh about 200 pounds. Um, if it is a bag that you do want an in-depth review of and I have not done one already, just drop down in the comments and say, can you do a little bit more detail on this particular bag and I'll feel free to do a I'll be happy, rather, to do a video about that specific bag if that's what you're interested in. Um, I know this video is going to be long. I have been uh, kind of dreading doing this. Um, I've wanted to do it for quite some time because one of my friends here on YouTube has said to me, you always pop a different bag out. I, that's a bag I haven't seen before. So it's something I wanted to do, but I've been kind of afraid of doing it because I felt like it would be a very long video and I didn't want to bore people's patience. But uh, I realized that, A, um, if you, you see that little uh, settings wheel either here or here on your screen, um, you could always fast forward my video to two times the speed. I fast forward my own videos when I'm reviewing them. Um, you also may want to just fast forward yourself past a couple of bags that don't interest you and pick the bags that you're most interested in watching. Or, of course, if this timestamp is just too long, you can always click off. I would not be offended. I totally understand. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to start with the bags that have more than one of in that brand. And then we'll do the one and dones at the end. And um, I really appreciate you clicking on this video again. The first brand I'm going to review that I have two bags within is the Brandon Blackwood collection. I have two bags from Brandon Blackwood. One is going to be this uh, taxi trunk clutch. It's my, one of my most recent purchases. And the other is this Kendrick trunk. So the taxi clutch, I've done a video on. I've done a review, I believe, of this bag, what fits in it. Um, I did the unboxing of this bag. Uh, I bought this bag with the recent um, drop that he did. Uh, I think it was a limited edition. I'm not sure if this bag is even still available, but it doesn't fit a whole heck of a lot. It's a really small little bag. Um, it has this kind of velvety interior, has two little gussets on the side, as though you would be able to feel so much in it that it would need gussets to hold it um, from things falling out. But it's probably, I would think, to keep the two pieces together. Um, this bag doesn't fit a whole heck of a lot. Um, I would say maybe a couple of cards, some cash, um, a chapstick or a lipstick, nothing major. Um, it's not really intended to carry a whole lot. It's really just intended to be a cute little crossbody bag, or you can carry it as a clutch. But I absolutely love that this bag is in my collection. Um, I think it's a beautiful little conversation piece. The other bag in my branded Blackwood collection is this Kendrick trunk. Um, in this black and white checkered design with the um, antique gold hardware. As you know, if you're familiar with their, his bags, um, he uses a B as the closure to the bag and then the little hardware that holds the handle to it is also a little B. It comes with a, um, all, the other bag comes with a dust bag as well. It comes with a dust bag. It comes with a crossbody adjustable and detachable strap. That chain strap, of course, is detachable but not adjustable. But um, I do love this black and white bag. I love the fact that this it's a great little, um, not pop of color, but a pop nonetheless. If you're wearing an all black outfit or you're wearing an all white outfit, I love carrying it as a tote handle. I also love wearing it as a crossbody. I think it's a super cute little bag. I love carrying it as a um, tote handle. I think it's a super cute bag. It doesn't carry a whole heck of a lot, but it does fit a cell phone. My phone is an iPhone 13. I'm filming on it, but this is one of the extra cases. And this bag does allow me to put my phone in here. Um, I lied. It does not allow me to put my phone in here. Why do I think I put my phone in this bag? My phone don't fit in there. So it's not a deal breaker for me to have a handbag that doesn't uh, hold my cell phone. 
but that's the Kendrick uh, trunk. Next brand that I have multiple bags for is the Polin um, brand. I have the uh, numeral un or one. Um, and I have two of those. I have one in the small and I have one in the micro. Uh, I have a little Louis Vuitton twilly on top of this one just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Uh, it does have a back pocket on it. Um, it opens up and it has these little snaps in the front that expand the bag so that you can get in and out of it more easily and more readily. It has a slip pocket in the back. The bag does come with a, uh, a dust bag and a uh, crossbody, I mean, a, a yeah, crossbody, uh, detachable and adjustable strap. I do like this bag on. It is, it does have a lot of holes for adjustments. So you have a lot of options on both sides for adjustments. But to me, it gave me the feels of a backpack without um, being an actual backpack because that's kind of what I felt like it put me in the mind of that Palm Springs Mini. Um, I got this little micro version exact same bag it has the pocket on the back it has d-rings on the back for the strap it is adjustable though but it's very difficult to adjust this um to make it longer it actually is a good length to wear a crossbody for me but i usually put a adjustable chain strap on this and wear this as a belt bag I like it better as a belt bag than I do as a crossbody bag. Has those snaps in the front, just like the bigger size does, and you can so you can kind of load it. It does carry quite a bit. It can carry a couple of lipsticks, a chapstick or a lipstick, a hand sanitizer, or small ones, some AirPods. It does pack a punch, but I like wearing this as a little belt bag as opposed to a crossbody bag. Another brand I have multiples of is Longchamp. I have the Longchamp La Foulonne bag. And I have the Longchamp Le Pliage. The um, Longchamp Le Foulonet bag I bought because I really wanted, at the time, I really, really wanted the uh, Hermes Eveline. But I was not going to spend the money on it, not for a bag that I didn't carry every single day. So I saw this as an alternative. I saw a YouTuber that presented this as an alternative to that bag and how similar it was at a much better price point. It's a beautiful pebble leather um, it feels really good. It smells amazing. It's a real small little bag. They do come with a, a dust bag. Uh, inside, it has a slip pocket in the back and a slip pocket on the front. But it's a really thin bag, so I, I don't think you really need to um, use a slip pocket. It's black, of course, on the inside. It's a zipper pocket on the inside it's all black so it's hard to see inside but it has gold hardware only thing i don't like about this bag is it does have an adjustable strap but it does not have a removable strap this bag comes in a lot of different sizes and a lot of different colors as well so it's a really neat everyday kind of casual bag well, the other long shop is my newest edition the long shop Le pliage tote um, that i was influenced to buy in a video recently about that because I was told that this bag was like one of the holy grail bags uh, in the luxury community for travelers and for like everyday use. And so I got this one from Setier. Um, all it has is the um, Longchamp on the uh, tag there at the bottom. And then, um, piece of dust. and that Le Pliage right there. Uh, it's cool. It does have Longchamp on the uh, front there as well. On the inside, it's just it has a uh, slip pocket on the back, um, but just an open cavernous hole on the inside. I, the next brand I have several bags for is going to be the Telfar collection, um, the Telfar brand. I have the Telfar medium uh, shopper in this uh, UGG Telfar collaboration. You can see the little UGG patch right there. Um, it's got that um, chestnut kind of suede material with this little fuzzy um, uh, edging all over it, just like the uh, Ugg boots. I have some brown Ugg boots that I uh, wear with when I wear this. Uh, inside, it has a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap, maybe. And it does have a zipper pocket on the inside with a little Ugg design on there. But um, I've only carried this bag once, to be honest. I bought these Telfar bags because I wanted to support a black business. But the one thing that bothers me about the Telfar bags, and I think they corrected this with those monogram design bags, 
The thing that bothers me about these bags is that the straps are not removable and they're not adjustable. And I've complained about that several times. The UGG versions, I only want to have a um, medium size of. The rest of them are all small shoppers. I have the uh, denim small shopper. I believe this is an East Pack. Somebody said in my comment section, I think this is an East Pack um, collab. I have the uh, little tan one I got from a Secure the Bag uh, series that they did where you paid for it and locked it in and then you could get it later. And then the uh, collaboration they did with Melissa, which is that clear uh, see-through. And you can see Melissa and TLFAR imprinted on the back. And I think the only other collection I have more than one of the, it's outside of my largest collection, which is Louis Vuitton, is going to be Coach. Uh, the first one I have is this Coach Lana bag. It is a shoulder bag. I love this bag. It's so cute. This bag is so cute. Um, it's all leather, interior and exterior. It did come with a um, dust bag. has a zipper compartment in the middle, which I really, really love. I know some people don't like the zipper dividers, but I really love that on this bag. And inside of that, it has another uh, slip pocket back here um, that snaps closed. Um, it has the coach patch in story patch in the very back there. Um, on the inside, it's just two big spaces, uh, leather lined. Um, the uh, inside pocket is is textile lined. I love this bag. Um, this bag does hold a, a laptop. It's just a really beautiful bag. I would not mind having the Lana in the smaller size, but I simply adore this bag. My other coach bag is the Cassie 19 in red. I fell in love with this bag simply because of one reason, one reason only, this heart-shaped uh, leather strap. I love the strap on this. I love that little heart-shaped strap. Um, I wore this bag for um, Valentine's Day this year. It has three compartments. It has a back pocket back here, this larger compartment in the middle, and a side pocket here. It also has a back pocket. Um, all Cassies come, from what I understand, with three straps. Um, silver hardware on the bag, a lot of coach logos around the, the, um, the clip and the D-rings. But I just think this is a beautiful red handbag. It is absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't mind having this bag in black. I think it would be beautiful in black. But um, it's just a beautiful bag. Of course, the, the straps are removable. The straps are adjustable like they're supposed to be. I just think this is too cute. I love this bag. I love the color. And I'm not even a red person, but I love how rich this color is. This is the um, denim uh, bump belt bag from Coach. It's a denim bag. It has this kind of nickel matte silver hardware all over it. it has a little C there. It does have a hang tag and like a vaquetta untreated leather. Um, or that may be treated leather. Has a um, almost like an ox blood or dark burgundy glazing around it. Smooth as butter zipper. Has a slip pocket in the back. I have it stuffed just to keep it full. But it has a, zip po a slip pocket in the inside along with the uh, coach story patch. Um, I bought the Coach Soft Tabby in the denim. I sent that back because I knew that that probably would not be carried as much as this one would. And uh, I just love this bag. I've only carried it once so far, but I just love how it molds to my body. And I like how comfortable it is and how lightweight it is. I just think it's so cute. So from Coach, my other bag is going to be this uh, Keep All. Um, I bought this because I really, really wanted the Lueve, um the Lueve tea pouch. It's shaped and designed just like this bag, uh, but it was $800. And I didn't want to spend $800 on it because I knew I wouldn't carry this bag much and I actually have never reached for this bag since I bought this one. It's got a pocket on the front, a zipper pocket on the front. It's got a zipper inside pocket, so a zipper pocket on, on to open up the inside of it. It's got a slip pocket, two little slip pockets on either side on, on this side and it's just, it's just got that little coach story patch back there. It also comes with a a little detachable wristlet, um, wrist strap. So you can actually carry it as a wristlet or you can carry it as a clutch, which is kind of what I bought it for to carry as a clutch. But I just thought this was too cute and it looks so much like the um, Loewe tea pouch that I really, really wanted. I have this little baby rogue and I have the right size and, and name on the screen in this hair cap. They call it hair cap, I call it cap hair. But I love how um, this feels. I've never worn it before. I bought this bag with the intention of 
having bags that a lot of spaces have size limits on bags. So I thought this would be a good one for a size limit. It does come with a removable and adjustable crossbody strap. It's got a leather inside on the two sides of the robe, the standard robe design, but the inside zipper has a textile lining with a very small baby coach um, story patch on there and also came with a little dust bag. I thought that was kind of cute. And finally, my last coach official bag, I do have a couple of um, uh, SLGs, but I won't count those because we'd be here all day. Um, my red uh, Quilted Heart Coach Bag also comes with a uh, dust bag and it has a silver detachable chain strap. It has silver hardware. It has a, of course, a little coach, um, coach tag on it. And uh, the chain up strap, of course, is removable, but not adjustable. I actually like to use an adjustable chain strap I bought from Amazon for this bag and wear this as a belt bag, but um, it falls perfectly, even though the chain strap isn't adjustable, it falls perfectly on my body, my frame. Next, I have um, the Lululemon belt bag. I have the Lululemon belt bag in this red. This was for Lunar New Year with the gold hardware. Um, and I have the Lululemon in black belt. It's both of these are the one L size. And this has um, silver hardware and mostly black, but then plastic. And then it has and the hardware is only the silver zipper and the silver Lululemon logo. On this one, you have a gold zipper and you have a gold tab. Both of them are exactly the same. Um, they have a zip pocket on the back that you can slide something into that you wear close, close to your body. And they have the um, open zipper inside. I have this one just kind of snapped together to keep it closed in here, but it has a slip pocket on, a knitted, knitted slip pocket on this side and two slip pockets on this side, both knitting. Um, it has the Lululemon logo inside. And um, I love the Lululemon bell bag. I think it is so um, easy to use. It's so comfortable. It's easy to adjust. Uh, it, 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 I can wear it anywhere. I haven't worn the red one yet at all. Um, I don't know why I bought it because I do wear a lot of red, but I love this bag. I think it is so comfortable and so lightweight. You can put this bag on and get in the car, put your seatbelt on. It, you don't have to take it off get in and out of the car very comfortably. I just love this bag. I think it is so cool. It holds quite a bit too. And the last collection I have is probably gonna be the largest and that'll be my uh, uh, Louis Vuitton collection. I have two of the mini bum bags. I won't go into detail about these because I have videos, extensive videos on these bags, but they come with two straps, a adjustable leather um, strap. This one comes with a kettle leather strap. This comes with a black leather strap. They're adjustable and they're detachable and they also come with chain straps. Uh, crossbody straps are not long enough to be worn for me comfortably the way I want them to hang. So I actually use my monogram strap on this bag and on this one I happen to use my strap that I have for my uh, petite bucket bag for this one so that they actually hang comfortably for me on my body. I have two Speedy 20 bags, one in the monogram and one in the Damier Abin. Um, the monogram, I got this one from a reseller, didn't come with any straps, so I ended up acquiring straps over time, but I usually wear this with my monogram strap as well. And this one actually came with a crossbody adjustable strap. I bought this direct from the boutique, um, but I don't like that one because it's just got too much gold hardware. It's too heavy and cumbersome. So I actually wear my monogram strap with this one, which is why I have my little um, change pouch on here because it brings the monogram down into the bag from the strap so it doesn't like I just clip the strap that doesn't go with the bag on there. But I have two of these Speedy 20s. And those are the only uh, twos that I have of Louis Vuitton. Um, the other Louis Vuitton is this Lusac Tote. It is from the 90s. Um, this is a discontinued style bag, but it's in the Epi leather. I bought this from Farfetch. Um, it is just a, uh, it's, I guess it's supposed to be a handbag. I kind of see it as like a briefcase almost. I can put my tablet in it um, and my phone and I put my, sorry about that. I put my tablet in it and my phone and 
It can hold a lot of stuff. It's got a slip pocket on one side. It's got a zipper pocket on the other one. It's got this gray microfiber kind of material inside, but um, sits on the shoulders really good. It's a nice, uh, nice size bag. It's healed up very well over the years. Like I said, this bag is from the 90s. I won't take any time talking about this bag. I've talked about it many, many, many times on my channel. It is my Neverfull in the MM size monogram. I've had it since 2015. It was a gift from my wife. It has the fuchsia interior. I have a little organizer in there. Um, it comes with a side zip pocket on the back, and it also comes with a uh, detachable pouch. And that's all I want to say about that because I've talked about this bag several times on my channel. I did a video the other day about bags I was influenced to buy, and I completely forgot about this bag, and I don't know why. This is the uh, Louis Vuitton Hobo, uh, Hobo Loop GM in the GM size, obviously, monogram. This bag I was heavily influenced to buy by Marquita, L, L, Mar Marquita LV Luxury, I think is what her title of her channel is. But I was heavily influenced by this bag. I don't know why, for how I forgot about this, <laughs> this bag. But it comes with two straps. It comes with a chain strap. It comes with an adjustable and detachable leather strap. Um, it has a little pochette inside that it comes with because it has no pockets in the in the bag. I have an organizer in there. You do not need an organizer for this bag, um, but it does come with a little pouch. And this is the Louis Vuitton Hobo Loop GM. The Louis Vuitton Graceful in the MM size. I've talked about this bag as well in previous videos, but I'll, in Damiera Ben, I'll be happy to do a full review of it if you like. But um, this comes with a non-adjustable, non-detachable strap, has a cherry red interior, has a zip pocket on the back. Um, and I have a little organizer in it just to kind of keep it, keep it structured. It does not need an organizer at all in it. Um, but I just have it in there to keep the structure. It's just a, a cavernous hole. But if you're one of those people like me that... Um, uses a lot of pouches and pochettes you shouldn't have any problem finding stuff in here because of that bright red interior but i love this bag i think it's a, a cute bag for going to brunch it's a cute bag to go shopping i just think it's super cute it's an it's, it's an adorable bag the wave chain louis vuitton wave chain in the mm size mm size mm yeah this is in the gm this bag comes in a um GM size and it comes in a PM size. Um, it is has a non-removable, non-adjustable chain strap. Um, I wear it typically as a shoulder bag. Um, this is my preferred wear, wear, wear my preferred way of wearing the bag. I like wearing it as a shoulder bag more so than a um, a crossbody bag, but it can be worn as a crossbody. I do wish that they had um, put a leather strap on both of these sides. Uh, but it's just a preference, but that's it as a crossbody. Um, on the inside, it has three compartments. It has a front compartment, it has an inside zipper, and it has a back compartment with a slip pocket to it in the back. But it's an all leather bag. This one was made in Italy. Very soft leather. Um, I was watching um, Content with Candace. That's Candace's channel. I'll put the right name on the screen. She has this in the GM size. And hers just has become so soft and so supple over time. I don't know how she got her bag to be that soft. The Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Trunk Clutch with gold hardware. It has that S-lock closure. Also has a zipper opening to it. It has that little cross-stitching uh, design on the inside like the trunks. It has two compartments. It has a front compartment and a back compartment. I bought this from a reseller. I think it was the Real Real. It comes with a removable and detachable crossbody strap with this little chain ending on either side. I like to actually put this on my mini bum bag since the strap that they gave us does not go, give, give me enough length. This one does, so I like to swap this one out with my mini bum bag, my black mini bum bag, but this one can be worn um, crossbody as a shoulder bag. 
but I just, I think this is too cute. Or as a, tr as a clutch, like I, I wear it with no strap at all and just wear it as a clutch. It's so kind of cumbersome to get in and out of, so I don't like it as a, as a day bag, but for evenings, I think it's too cute. All right, the Rossmore clutch. Again, I won't go into a lot of detail about this one because I did this in my Louis Vuitton, um, Louis Vuitton uh, collection video, but it does come with a removable um, shoulder strap. Uh, but I bought this more for a clutch. It's almost like a wallet on chain. It also came with a chain strap as well. Um, but I tend to like to wear it and just carry it as a clutch. Uh, Rossmore clutches come with the... Um, the slip side pocket so you can put your like cards in there because it's like a wallet on chain. Um, it has a zipper compartment and um, it, on the back it has two little slip pockets. Back there as well, I guess you could put cards in or something. But it's in Python, it's the Rossmore Exotic. This is the Louis Vuitton um, Felici Pochette in the red emprunt leather. Um, Felici Pochettes come with these two inserts. You can put your cards in this one and some cash in the middle and it also has this zipper pouch you can use these of course in other bags as well but this little zipper pouch um to like put cash in or something or receipts or whatnot and that's to help you to manage the space of this bag a little bit better it does have an opening here and a slip pocket in the back this bag is a wild on chain for all intents and purposes has these two little d-rings on the sides And um, just wear it as a little crossbody bag or, again, wear it as a, carry it as a clutch. Or you can just make it a wallet and put it inside a larger bag. Like if you have the Never Full or something, you can wear it as a wallet on the inside of a larger bag. The Felici Strap and Go. I did a full video of this one with the unboxing. I think I did it with fits, uh, all that good stuff. But the Felici Strap and Go is a kind of wallet on chain style bag too. Has a slip pocket in the back, uh, open interior, and then slips pockets back here for like cards. It comes with a detachable and adjustable crossbody strap. Um, this one came in green. I think this also design also came in a pink, but don't quote me on that. I think this one also came with came in design as a pink. But I bought this from a reseller right here on YouTube, uh, the Louis Vuitton Princess, and you wear it as like a crossbody. It has this little detachable um, card case that you can put on here. It's green in the interior, just like the bag is. The little made in on, on the inside. Uh, you can clip it to a belt strap or you can clip it to this actual strap and carry this like that. Um, wonderful for running errands. I just love that this bag is in my collection. It's super cute. Won't go into a lot of detail with this bag either because I've done a full video about this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Petite Bucket in the Raffia and Black Leather. Um, comes with a detachable and removable crossbody strap. Um, inside, it has a uh, slip pocket on the back in that black microfiber material. Um, and just like an open cavernous space, it closes using this little D-ring at the top. Um, this little hook right here at the top, so that's how it closes, so it's not much security. Um, but I absolutely love having this bag in my collection. The Toiletry 26, I use this bag not as a toiletry bag, but I actually use this bag as a clutch. I like carrying this to places like when I'm going to brunch or something. It has this like wipeable material on the inside because it is an actual toiletry bag that you would use to put like your makeup and lotions and facial products in. I have a little organizer in it that does have D-rings that I got from Amazon has slip pockets in it so you can actually wear it as a crossbody if you want to but I bought this strictly as a clutch to carry for like brunch really for brunch that's what this bag is for for brunch <laughs> and last but certainly not least is the newest bag to my handbag collection it is my baby pink uh, Louis Vuitton Alma I that was a trade that I did with Melissa Adams Wade by now you have seen that video where I talked about how we made a decision to trade bags. I swapped my baby blue Alma that you would have seen in one of my first videos when I did my official Louis Vuitton collection um, for this baby pink one. And this is the last bag in my Louis Vuitton collection. And now the handbags is in my one and done. These are bags that I don't have one. I only have one out of that brand. Um, it's the only bag I have in the brand. The first one is going to be my Jacques Mousse bag in this silver and gold. Um, I've done a full video on this one, so I won't do a, any more expanding talking about this one. It is just a clutch, has a opening inside, has a little one slip pocket back there. Um, I have the 
the uh, dust bag in there. It's this uh, textile material on the inside, just an open cavernous space. Closes with little magnets to close the handle. It's just a clutch. It's just an underarm bag, but I think this is an awesome bag because it is something that you can pretty much wear with anything um, because it's it's a neutral for all intents and purposes. But this is my only Jacques Mousse bag. My only cool Gaia bag is this little melon colored, orange colored uh, clutch. Um, I love this little bag. It is um, a work of art to me. It does come with a dust bag. It does fit a cell phone. Unlike the Brandon Blackwood bag, you can put your cell phone in there, my earbuds. You can put a lipstick, a chapstick. Um, it does not come with the chain strap. You can get something like this very similar on Amazon. I want to do a comparison between the Kogaya uh, dupes on Amazon and this one just to see about how good the quality of the, of the acrylic is because this is an acrylic bag for all intents and purposes. But those typically come with chain straps. This one is just an, a clutch, but I absolutely love having this bag in my collection. I think it is beautiful. To me, it's a work of art. My Ralph Lauren Polo ID bag. It is the only Ralph Lauren bag I own in this gold metallic. It is a shoulder bag. It is not a crossbody bag. I carried this to a wedding in Atlanta one weekend, and I actually went shopping with this and the, went around the malls with it. Smooth butter, smooth zipper. Um, it's just an open space. This is the uh, dust bag that comes with it. But it's just an open space and inside. It's got, it's like a suede, micro suede material. It has one little slip pocket in the back for like a card or something. Um, but uh, it is just a beautiful bag I wore for a wedding. And I was able to use this as my handbag all weekend. This has uh, like the pochette style so, you know, the strap is not removable, it's not adjustable, it's connected to the bag. But what I did was I found this little gold chain strap on, um, I think Amazon, I think I found this on Amazon. And I ordered this to go with this bag because the material was very similar so that I could wear it as a crossbody if I wanted to. Because when I traveled that weekend, we walked around the mall and I didn't know we were gonna be walking around the mall. And I really would like to put this on as a crossbody bag as opposed to a shoulder bag. So I bought this little uh, matte finish or antique gold chain and it just went perfect with the hardware that was already on the bag. So I just kind of leave it on there. But again, the strap is not adjustable and it is not removable. You can only take one side off, but I'm assuming they did that because they wanted to give you the option of putting a chain on there or something or a leather strap if you wanted to, to extend it out to be a crossbody bag. But this is my only Ralph Lauren handbag. It's the Rock Ralph Lauren Polo ID bag. My Jimmy Choo Micro Bonbon bon in this fuchsia pink color. Um, it has these little, this like champagne type of gold hardware to it. Um, it's uh, a drawstring bag for all intents and purposes. Has a little cute chain with the fringes on the end. It's just an open cavernous space. It does come with a crossbody strap that is um, not removable, not adjustable, so I always keep it tucked into the bag. It does come with a, a drawstring as well. I mean, a dust bag as well. It's just an open cavernous space. It doesn't have any zip slide pockets or anything. It's just got a Jimmy Choo uh, patch right there on there. But um, I typically just keep the, the bag stuffed and keep the um the crossbody strap tucked inside I, it doesn't really matter to me that the strap is not removable and adjustable because i typically carry this bag as a um little tote handle excuse me that's my fur baby coffin but i usually carry it as a tote handle anyway or on my wrist and i think this is an adorable little bag it does pack a punch you can put a lot of stuff in here earbuds lipstick chapstick hand sanitizer it does carry quite a bit but this is the jimmy choo bon bon micro bonbon in the fuchsia. The MCM tote bag in the Vichetto Sleather uh, mix in the size medium. I won't go into a lot of detail on this bag because I've done several videos about it. Love this bag. Um, it's the only bag that I have in, by MCM. It does come with a crossbody adjustable and detachable strap. Um, has a smooth butters, butter soft zipper. It has a slip pocket on one side and a zipper pocket on the other. Does come with a um, a dust bag and it also came with a free gift when I purchased this little red pouch I don't know if it always comes with that but it did have a, a free gift when I purchased the bag one and only Chanel bag and probably will be my only Chanel bag ever in life because the prices of Chanel went up recently um, I don't know if you follow Asha's channel um, 
but uh, she posts on her community wall about the, another price increase. Uh, they are basically pricing me right out of this brand, unfortunately. I love the bags, but it, they just price me out. So I'm probably going to only have this one Chanel bag. But it is a white and caviar leather toiletry bag with uh, champagne hardware, non-removal, non-adjustable strap. Um, comes with a... Um, comes with a uh, inside um, one little pocket there for lipstick, has some three uh, card slots there with a mirror because it's a toiletry bag. This does fit the iPhone 13. Does fit the iPhone 13. Um, this bag is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I would love to have, honestly, another one, but I just, Chanel said no. <laughs> Chanel said no. I've done several video, several videos, I believe, on this bag as well. This is my Loewe puzzle bag in the mini size. It is in this tan brown color. Does come with a um, dust bag. The inside of the bag is just a cavernous hole. It doesn't have any slip pockets or slide pocket, side pockets. No zipper pockets or anything. It does have a. I don't know what the ham sandwich that was. It does have a uh, removable strap, but it is not adjustable. But it does not matter because for some reason. Uh, Louis Vuitton don't know how to do it, but the way they does, they know how to create a strap that is friendly to my frame, so I can wear this bag, bag crossbody quite easily. Beautiful, soft, supple leather, doesn't come with any feet. Um, not a lot of logos or anything except for that little small the way they anagram there. Zipper closure, um, but I typically carry this bag like this as a little tote handle. I just like it because of that sag that it does. I just like carrying this as a tote handle. I would love to have this in the size small. This is the mini. Would love to have it in a small and black, but um, for the price, it's not gonna be able to do it. But that is my the way they puzzle bag. It's the only the way they bag that I own in my collection. Um, this is my only Marc Jacobs bag. I have the Marc Jacobs uh, uh, tote. I think this is in a small, sm butter smooth zipper. Butter smooth, butter smooth zipper, butter smooth. In this beautiful lambskin, uh, lambskin leather. Lambskin leather? Why the fuck am I saying that right? It does come with the dust bag. It comes with a removable and adjustable strap, but I've never had to adjust the strap because... When I, the way it was packaged was actually the right length for me. The hardware is silver. Um, the bag is just a cavernous hole, um, except for a small slip pocket in the back, which is like the little Marc Jacobs tag. Um, I love this green. I think this green is gorgeous. Uh, and I needed a green bag to go with some sneakers I have, but... Whenever I when I got it out, the strap was the right um, length for me to wear this across body. So I love the the length that it is length is at. Um, but this is too cute, absolutely cute. My Aubrey J Pyramid bag. Um, this bag is a, a black owned business. The father makes these bags because he's been inspired by his daughters. It does come with a removable uh, and adjustable strap. Um, it's a drawstring design, kind of opens up like that. Um, removable and adjustable strap in the same colorway. I just bought this because I love the story of the business. I don't carry the bag. Um, it, I saw someone with one of these bags, though. What was I coming in or out of? I think it was coming out of brunch the other day. She had a red one. So I saw someone actually carrying one of these bags. It does have feet, which is kind of cool. But I just love the colorway of it. I love the purples and the pinks and the oranges and the greens in it. I just love having it on, in my collection, kind of sitting on my on my. Uh, shelving unit uh, for the design of it. Okay, we wrap it up to almost the end, y'all. Almost the end. Ain't got good. <laughs> we almost the end. This is my Chloe. Um, uh, I'm gonna have it on the screen. Woody basket. Chloe. Chloe Woody basket. Um, in this raffia with the brown leather trim. It also came in that uh, with the denim. And I wish I'd gotten that. It came with the straps. They have the denim because I got this dirty. On one of my trips, and that little stain didn't go away. It has that little brown leather on the bottom instead of feet. And all of these bags, I have an organizer in it, but all of these bags come with this story pouch, right? The story patch of the person that made the bag. 
And mine says this basket is woven by hand and carries the story of its maker, made by Esther Colo. It's a fair trade made in Kenya. And it's the Chloe and uh, Miyuko collaboration. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But it's all straw and raffia. Isn't it beautiful? I thought it was so beautifully made. Oh my goodness. I love this bag. Um, I've carried it on vacation a couple of times. Um, like one was to, on a road trip. The other one was actually, I took it um, to the airport. But I actually wore it on my shoulder. And um, it's just, it's such a cute, it's such a cute bag. I'm so ready for someone else to do it myself. All right, my Versace Llama Dusa bag. I stuck this uh, coach strap on there. We talked about that in the previous video, so I won't go back into that. Uh, this is an all leather bag, as you know. It does have a zipper pocket on the inside. Um, you can expand the bag on the sides if you want to or taper it in. Um, it came with a leather uh, detachable and uh, adjustable strap. It also came with like an acrylic chain strap that matches the material of the leather. Um, I don't wear this as a crossbody or, or shoulder bag. When I do carry it, um, I always carry it as a, um, as a inside the crook of the arm bag. It just it looks like it's inside the crook of the arm bag. This is like a, I'm getting ready to go to brunch. It does have little leather feet to uh, raise it up a little bit off of the table so that it doesn't damage the leather. Um, got that uh, Versace right there on the end. It does have gold hardware. Um, this bag is very heavy when you load it. As soon as you put some stuff in there, it gets heavy. So it's not a bag I carry a lot, but um, I love the colors. My favorite color bag in my collection. I love this color more than I love any other color bag. I wish I had this in a smaller version because I probably wear it a whole lot more, but I love this bag. I absolutely love this bag. My Gucci crossbody bag. It is that envelope style, uh, wild on chain style bag. It does come with a... Um, a dust bag came with this side pocket here. It's just an open cavernous hole, but it does fit my iPhone 13 cell phone. So it does fit my phone and you can actually put a phone in there. You could put a card case in there. You could put earphones in there, a lipstick, a chapstick. It does hold quite a bit. It has a non-removable strap, but it is adjustable and it's a perfect little crossbody bag. And the last bag, the last bag, <clears throat> the last bag, my strawberry. Nano tote does come with a dust bag, does come with a detachable crossbody strap. On the inside, just an open cavernous space with one slip pocket in the back. Has a magnetic closure, has that um, quintessential strawberry bar that's featured on all of their bags. The strap is removable, but it is not adjustable. It connects to two little D-rings at the very top of the bag. And it doesn't matter that it's not adjustable because it is the perfect length for my frame. Uh, get it on there. I'm going to get it on there. I'm excited because it's the last bag. It's the last bag. I did it. I did it. I'm so excited. Anyway, has uh, just a leather piece there with uh, the rest of it being chain. And it is the perfect little crossbody. It fits so cute on the body because of the shape of it. It sits so almost flush to the body. It is just the cutest little bag. It's a perfect little night out bag. You don't necessarily have to wear it as a crossbody. It is a really cute um, tote handle bag as well. But I love this, my Strawberry Nano Tote. That is my collection. That is my handbag collection. Got through it. I was kind of overwhelmed by it. I was like, I want to do this, but I know it's going to be a lot of bags. It's going to take a lot of time. And who's going to want to sit here and watch the whole thing? If you sat through my whole handbag collection, thank you very much for doing so. I'm not going to hold you any longer. If there are any bags that I featured in this video that you want more information about, drop down in the comment section. Tell me, please, either tell me more about it in the comments or do a brief video about it or a short or something. I'll be happy to accommodate. And the only other favor I'll ask of you is that you have an absolutely wonderful day.